Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is McKenna and in today's video, I'll be showing you how I design this beauty slash cosmetic Shopify website. This website is perfect for beauty, hair, and cosmetic businesses. And this website design is mobile and desktop responsive, so it looks great on mobile devices. In this video, I'll be using the softwares Shopify and Canva. If you're unfamiliar with Canva, you can set up a free account and create all kinds of graphics such as logos and web banners for your website. Without further ado, let's get straight into this tutorial. First, you're going to open Shopify and go to Online Store, then Themes. When you scroll down, you'll see all of Shopify's free website themes, and I'll be installing the original Dawn theme. This is going to be the base for the website. Then click Customize. When you click this icon, it will show you how the website is going to look in full screen preview. And when you click this phone icon, it will show you how the mobile version is going to look. I'm going to click on this header and under desktop logo position, I'm going to set this to middle center. This way your logo will display in the center of the website. When you scroll down and scroll back up, you'll notice that the header will pop up. And if you'd like to remove that effect, right here you can select none. You can also select always if you'd like the header to remain at the top of the website when customers are scrolling. Then I'm going to click on the announcement bar and I'll be displaying the social media icons. Click theme settings, then social media. Here you can paste in the links to your brand's social media pages. Those clickable social media icons will display up here on the announcement bar and on the footer of your website. Then I'm going to be removing the announcement bar text, but you can leave that in if you would like. Click colors, then color scheme one. I'm going to change the background to black and the text to white. Then I'm going to change the solid button background to white, solid button label to black, and the outline button to white. Then you're going to open color scheme two. I'm going to apply a gradient background effect. And for the gradients, I'm going to do gray and a dark gray. I'm going to change the text to white, the solid button background to white, the solid button label to black, and the outline button to white. Click on the header, then I'm going to apply color scheme two. Then click logo, and here you can upload your brand's logo and favicon image straight from your computer. I'd recommend having your logo in a transparent PNG format. Under desktop logo position, you can increase the size of your logo. Open typography, and I'm going to change the main font to the font Archivo Narrow Bold. Then I'm going to change the secondary font to the font Assistant Bold. And here's how this section appears on mobile. When customers click catalog, it will take them to the shop all section of your website. And when they click contact us, it will take them to your contact form. If you'd like to design a more custom navigation bar, you're going to open Shopify, then go to online store and then navigation. Open your main menu. And here you can edit the current menu items and add new menu pages. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the slideshow section. First, you're going to click add section to template. Then I'm going to import a slideshow. Scroll down and I'm going to remove this image banner and the featured collection. I'm going to remove the heading and the subheading, then remove the container. Then you can retitle this button label and select a link leading to a page or a product collection within your website. Under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom center. Then I'm going to repeat those steps for this second slide. Click add block, then I'm going to repeat those steps for this third slide. And under desktop content position, I'm going to set this to bottom left. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed these three web banners. Here on Canva, you're going to click custom size, and the dimensions I'm going to be doing for the web banners are 4320 by 2160 pixels. First, I'm going to change the background to black. When you click uploads, under upload files, you can upload your brand pictures and your product photos straight from your computer. I'll be using Canva's background removal feature. This is a Canva Pro feature, so if you don't have Canva Pro, you can use a free background removal editor to remove the background of your pictures. Click text, then upload a text box. Put this in uppercase, then apply the font Noto Sheriff display. And this is going to create a sideways text box. Then I'm going to duplicate this and create another text box on the left side of the page. Then I'm going to lower the opacity of this. Upload a text box, then apply the font Hamilton. Click effects, then I'm going to apply the lift effect. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, apply the font Noto Sheriff display, then I'm also going to apply the lift effect. I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller tagline text right below it. Then you're going to click add page. Under elements, I'm going to search for a faded circle element, and I'm going to upload one of these onto the page. This will add a little bit of dimension to the page. By the way, if you don't have Canva Pro, just be sure to use their free elements that don't have the Canva Pro batch. Scroll down and I'm going to upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to position this behind that main image frame. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Then I'm going to scroll up and copy and paste this main text box. Then I'm going to click add page. I'm going to copy and paste this faded element. Then I'm going to upload an image frame. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Upload a text box, then apply the font Hamilton. Then we're going to copy and paste this text box. 
Once you're finished, these will be our three web banners for the slideshow. You're going to download each of these pages individually in a PNG format for the best quality. Here on Shopify, you can click select image and upload that main web banner design. Under slide height, I'm going to set this to adapt a first image. Then I'm going to set the pagination style to dots. Then you can upload the remaining banners. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the slideshow portion of the website. By the way, this Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify theme template in a downloadable format for in case you just don't have time to design your website. If you're unfamiliar with Shopify templates, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that into your store. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this website template. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you'll see me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version on Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. This pre-made Shopify website template will save you a ton of time, and I will link that in my description box below. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the collection list. First, I'm going to import a collection list. I'm going to remove the heading and set the image ratio to portrait. You can enable the view all button if you have more than three collections. Then I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. Right above this section, I'm going to import a rich text. Then I'm going to remove the subheading text and the button label. When you click on a collection, it will allow you to select each collection you'd like to feature. By the way, if you're unfamiliar with collections on Shopify, they're just categories you've chosen to create to assign certain products to. That way you can keep your products on your store organized. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed those collection covers. Here on Canva, I'm going to click custom size and the dimensions I'm going to be doing for the collection covers are 1179 by 1473 pixels. I'm going to set the background to black, then click elements and upload an image grid. Then I've searched for a faded element and I'm going to upload one of these onto the page. Then I'm going to upload a text box, put this in uppercase, then apply the font in Noto Sheriff display. Then I'm going to reduce the opacity of this. Upload another text box, then apply the font to beautifully delicious. I'm going to click elements and apply the lift effect. Then you can duplicate this three times to represent those three featured collections. Then you can drag and drop your product photos to represent those collections. And of course you can keep creating more of these pages to represent all of your product collections. Next you're going to download each of these pages individually. And here on Shopify, when you click products, then collections, and when you open a collection or create a new collection, right here under image is where you can upload that collection cover. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the collection list. Next, I'll be showing you how I designed the About Us section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then I'm going to remove the container on desktop and remove the container on mobile. I'm going to remove the second button label. Then you can retitle the main button label and select a link. Then you can insert your About Us section text. Then above this section, I'm going to import a rich text. I'm going to set this to color scheme in two. Then I'm going to remove the text and the button label. Then I'm going to duplicate this and I'm going to position this right below that image banner and that will create a border for this section. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to change the background to a dark gray color. Then I'm going to upload a faded element. Then I'm going to upload an image frame. I'm going to upload another faded element. And that's going to create a subtle shadow effect for this main image. Then you can drag and drop your brand picture. Next, I'm going to upload another faded circle element. Then you're going to upload a text box. Here you can type in the name of your business. I'm going to use this text as an example. And I'm going to put this in uppercase. Then apply the font to Noto Sheriff Display. Upload another text box. I'm going to type shop now. Then apply the font to beautifully delicious. Next, you're going to download this page, then upload it into the About Us section here on Shopify. Under image behavior, I'm going to apply the zoom in on scroll. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the About Us section. And here's how this section looks on mobile. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the Shop Qualities section. First, I'm going to import a multi-column. You're going to remove the heading and the button label. Then I'm going to remove the column background and set the column alignment to center. Be sure to enable the swipe on mobile. Then when you click on a column, under heading, you can list each of the qualities that your store offers. For an example, you can put fast shipping or quality materials. And under description, you can write a mini description to match. Here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. Under elements, I'm going to upload a circle shape. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Then I'm going to upload a faded circle element. Next, you can search for the icons to represent each of those shop qualities. Once you're finished, you can download each of these icons. Then you can upload them into each of those columns here on Shopify. 
Under image width, I'm going to set this to half width of column. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the shop qualities section. And here's how this section will look on mobile. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the featured product collection. First, I'm going to import a featured collection. Then set this to color scheme 2. Be sure to enable the view all button if the collection you're featuring has more than 4 products. Then I'm gonna apply the swipe on mobile. Next I'm gonna set the image ratio to portrait and then you can select which collection you'd like to feature. For an example, most people feature their best selling collection. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the featured product collection. Next I'll be showing you how I designed the featured customer reviews section. First I'm gonna import a multi-column. I'm going to retitle the heading, then remove the button label. Then I'm going to set the column alignment to center. I'm going to increase the number of columns to 4. Then when you click on a column, under heading, I'll be pasting these star emojis to represent the customer's rating. Then under description, you can paste in each of the customer's reviews that you'll be featuring on this homepage. I'll be using this text as an example, and I'd recommend putting the customer's name and inserting a link leading straight to the product they left their review on. And then I'm going to enable the swipe on mobile. Once you're finished, that's how I added the featured customer reviews section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the second web banner section. First, I'm going to import an image banner. Then you can retitle this section. And I'm going to remove the second button label. Then apply the outline button style. Back here on Canva, you're going to open that same web banner page and click add page. I'm going to upload another faded element. And then I'm going to upload a square shape. Upload another faded element. Then I'm going to upload an image frame. Then I'm going to duplicate this. Then you can drag and drop your brand pictures. Upload a text box, put this in uppercase, I'm going to apply the font in Noto Sheriff Display, then apply the lift effect. Then I'm going to download this page and upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt the first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the second web banner section. Next, I'm going to show you how I added the email sign up and the featured blog post section. First, I'm going to import an email sign up. Then I'm going to retitle this section. Then I'm going to import a multi row. I'm going to be removing this third row. I'm going to set the color scheme to color scheme 2. And each of these rows will represent your two featured blog posts. When you click on a row, under heading, you can type in the title for the blog post you'll be featuring. I'm going to use this text as an example. And you can also put a mini description and a caption to match. Then I'm going to apply the solid button style. And then you can retitle the button label and paste the link leading straight to that blog post. Then you can upload pictures to represent the covers for those blog posts. That's how I added the email signup in the blog post section. Next, I'm going to show you how I designed the featured Instagram post section. First, I'm going to import an image banner and I'm going to remove the text and the button labels. Next, I'm going to import a rich text and I'm going to remove the text. Then you can retitle this button label and paste the link leading straight to your brand's Instagram page. Here on Canva, I'm going to click add page. Then I'm going to upload an image frame. You're going to duplicate this and position it behind that main image frame. And I'll be designing this page in a stair step pattern. Then under upload files, you can upload the Instagram post you'll be featuring straight from your computer. And you're just going to want to drag and drop those onto those frames. Then I'm going to upload an Instagram icon and reduce the opacity of this. Upload a text box, then apply the font Hamilton. Upload another text box, put this in uppercase, and apply the font Noto Sheriff Display. And I'm going to duplicate this and create a smaller text right below it. Then I'm going to upload one last text box. Here you can type in your brand Instagram username, then apply the font Noto Sheriff Display. Then you can download this page, then upload it into that image banner here on Shopify. Under banner height, I'm going to set this to adapt to first image. Once you're finished, that's how I designed the Instagram post section. And here's how this section is going to look on mobile. And here is the finished Shopify website. Don't forget, this pre-made Shopify theme template is available on my website. I've put together this fully done for you Shopify website template. And if you're unfamiliar with Shopify template, after your order, you'll receive it in a zip file format. And here on Shopify, you can easily install that website theme into your store. This website template is already laid out and designed for you. So all you have to do is add your pictures and change the text. And this is a full template bundle. So I've also included all of the Canva templates that you've seen me creating throughout this video. I've designed these Canva templates to be compatible with the free version of Canva, so all you'll need is a free Canva account to open, edit, and download these templates. I've included a step-by-step -step installation guide to help you with installing and editing this Shopify template, and I will link that in my description box below. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you're interested in another style of Shopify website, check out this video here on my channel.